Hello, I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com and this is the chart for the new moon on the 4th of March. As you can see there's a huge amount of energy build up of the planets all in one sector. This is the sign of Pisces. As you can see Chiron, Mars, the Moon, the Sun and Mercury are all in that sign, the twelfth sign of the zodiac. Trailing just behind a very slow moving planet is Neptune, 28 degrees of Aquarius. Neptune is soon to move also into the sign of Pisces. We also have on this chart, it's set for Aries being the first sign of the zodiac, it's set for 0 degrees Aries. So if you locate your own sign, you can see which sector is being triggered by this new moon. For Pisces, this is a very important time, a very important year lies ahead if your birthday is this month. The Uranus energy is right there, very close, at the last degree virtually of Pisces alongside Jupiter, which is now in Aries. And on March the 12th, Uranus will move into Aries. This marks a whole new beginning, a seven year cycle of pioneering energy governed by the energy of Mars, its ruling planet of Aries. Mars will still be in the sign of Pisces at that time. We've had a very difficult month, last month. The reason is that Mars, here's Mars, moment in, now in Pisces, but Mars was with the new moon of February. And at that time, that new moon was very, very strongly in Aquarius, a lot of planets in Aquarius, which is to do with the people, with freedom, with liberty. It's uh, Uranus and Aquarius together, that's the planet and the sign that it rules, are to do with the revolution, the French Revolution, the English um, Industrial Revolution and the French War of Independence, Civil War, you know, independence from you know, England. Now we've seen that going on in the world because people people have been rising up against dictators and it's a time also carrying through now it's a softening of the energy. Pisces is the sea, it's dream time, incubation time. So allow yourself rest during this month of Pisces until the following new moon, but also preparation. Preparation, I call it going into the birth canal. The birth naturally is Aries because the twelfth sign and then the first sign is the equinox when the, the sun moves across that point on March the 20th we get the spring equinox equal day equal night so it's a very potent time to set new vision for yourself for the coming year astrological year and because Uranus is so close will be so close to the sun you know they touch each other the very next day is like yes a real yes energy do things differently explore new worlds I've been reading a lot this last few weeks about things like the ascended masters about the uh, magnetic shift that's been talked about a lot a lot of fear mongering of course it brings up for people but it's really a spiritual awakening and now with all the energy in Pisces that is the theme Chiron, up there, Chiron, is just again beginning its journey through that sign. And Chiron in Pisces is very much a feeling possibly of being forsaken, of being let down, feeling of why am I here. If you're approaching the age of 50, Chiron is in Pisces for you. So this is my first new moon video. I hope you come back for more. My name is Pam Carruthers at HealingStars.com. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your feedback. Thank you. Bye-bye.